In many organizations, there is a requirement to identify and separate the OPEX cost from the CAPEX. More than that, an organization might impose two separate budgets on your project that you need to monitor separately, the OPEX budget and the CAPEX budget. Here's how to proceed on this with Microsoft Project 2010. The first thing you need to do is to go to the resource sheet and create your two budget resources. <coughs> Here you go. Now, you need to declare them as cost resources and make sure that the project understands that they are budget resources. Now, you need to go back to your Gantt chart select your project summary task and assign those two budget resources to this task. There you go. Now you have two budget resources, the budget OPEX and budget CAPEX that are assigned to your project summary task. Now, you see here this column, the budget cost. This is the compound budget for OPEX and CAPEX. It's a single cell and it's not editable, but you need to put the separate value for each, uh, for each budget. So the way to do this, you need to go to the task usage sheet. Now, <clears throat> you see your two budgets are right there. So you put something like, for example, 22K for the OPEX budget and 24K for the CAPEX budget for a compound value of $46,000. Now, you go back to the Gantt chart and you see your $46,000 there. So now your two budget, OPEX and CAPEX, have been def defined with specific values. The next thing to do is to classify each of the activity here in your project as OPEX or CAPEX. The way to do this, <coughs> you know, you're going to define a custom field, let's call it OC for OPEX, CAPEX, that will be used to discriminate between the different type of task. So we're going to create a lockup table for that. <coughs> so you can only put either the value OPEX or the value CAPEX on this field. We're going to put a description. So operational expenses for OPEX and capital investment for CAPEX. <coughs> and that's it. We need to roll down this field to the uh, assignment here, and that's it. Now, we're going to make that new field visible. Here you go. Now, the initiation is OPEX. Now, you see the two values that I have defined here. Analysis is usually OPEX, but that depends on the opinion of your finance department. Development is usually CAPEX. Testing, this is usually CAPEX. <coughs> Deployment also. Go live, it's irrelevant because it's there's no cost, but uh, if there were a cost, I believe it would have been CAPEX. And the support at the end, this is OPEX. Now, what you can do is that you can group by this field and see the planned cost for the CAPEX and the planned cost for the OPEX. But the problem with this view is that you've lost the site of your budget. You don't know to which number to compare this. Now, there's a better way to see more information and it's the task usage uh, view. Let's go to the task usage view here. <coughs> so you're going to create a, a new group, a new grouping here. New group by. And you're going to group by the field OPEX CAPEX, of course. And you're going to select here Show Summary Task and then Apply. Now, you see things are being grouped a bit. Now, we're going to declutter this with the uh, outline function. There you go. Now, <coughs> you can see your CAPEX value here. You can see your OPEX value here. You can compare those two values against your two budget here. And you can see your overall plan cost with respect to your overall budget cost. So you have all the information uh, in hand to be able to track this. And also if you want to drill down, for example, in the development, who is incurring the, uh, this cost, you can see the resource assigned to that. 
So I hope this uh, little trick is going to help you uh, in your future project again. So thank you very much for listening.